We used to think that we didn't really need to be concerned about pH when composting. After all, the microbes sort themselves out. They're pretty versatile. And when we taught composting, we showed graphs like this, indicating that the pH may drop somewhat initially, but then increases pretty rapidly afterwards. And this is generally true when we're composting yard waste, biosolids, or animal manures. And we assumed that food waste would be similar. We were so wrong. Here is some composting material from a compost facility processing commercial food waste. The food waste was blended with bulking agent the morning I received it. The moisture content was 64%. The air-filled porosity was 29%. All pretty good. I am aerating it to maintain an oxygen content of 17 to 20 percent. It has developed very little temperature even after five days. Something seems terribly wrong. It is. When we measure the pH, it's less than four. I'm measuring it with a simple and inexpensive probe, which seems to work relatively well. It correlates with the buffer solutions of four and seven. And when I measure stored animal feed, it also shows a pH of around 4. We conserve animal feed by purposely and quickly limiting the air. The microbes produce primarily lactic and acetic acids, which causes the pH to drop to the point where the microbes can no longer survive. The feed is conserved. The resulting feed has a sweetness about it that animals like. So what is the difference with food waste? Well, we don't always know how long and how the food waste is managed before it comes to the compost facility. If the food waste is relatively fresh, the temperature increases dramatically within 24 hours in our composting system. And when the material is adequately aerated, there is little or no drop in pH. This food waste was collected from commercial sources. We don't know how long it's been in the bins before it was collected. It's been 30 degrees outside for a couple of months. The anaerobic producing microbes thrive, producing acids such as butyric and valeric acids, which have an incredibly putrid odor. There are three main reasons why we need to concern ourselves with pH when composting food waste. First, the odor potential of the composting material goes up dramatically as the pH decreases. And as the pH decreases, the microbial community changes to one that loves to produce more acid, making it more difficult to optimize the microbial community for composting. And third, the pH can drop to a point where the microbes are no longer active, which seems to be what happened with this composting material. In future videos, we will explain these volatile acids which are produced when composting food wastes. We will explain that composting food waste does not have to result in a volatile relationship with our neighbors. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.